Okay, so first application of this is octaves. This is where you start to apply your music theory and also start to engage in a full diagram with your technique. So define the space you're gonna play in. If I'm going from C to C, then I could say that the middle of that exercise is up here. I put my belly button there and then I lean to the left to start the exercise. So when I start, my belly button's in the middle like this so that I have a normal spatial arrangement of the hands. I'm not like this, where I'm offset to one side, I'm here. As I play, I'm scooching down the instrument like this, okay? I'm actually doing the lunge. So I begin um, prepped to the top and I go like this. Not perfect because my two hands aren't playing at the same time exactly. And another key issue is balance, making sure they're the same loudness, that there's a blended tone. Um, so if, if you're having problems like that, you'll want to try again and do little moves like this. And just test out your sound and try and play at the same time. And I think a key is not to squeeze, use the weight of the mallet to play. Those are some tone issues that happen. Tone is fundamental. You need every stroke to sound exactly the same when you play. And so the way to diagnose that is to do small sections like that to increase your consistency. And then you also, earlier I talked about the body feel, attend to the body feel. How does it feel to produce that weighty stroke where you let the mallet fall and do the work? So I'm up top. And you might just ask, can I be looser on the mallet, but still aggressive with my velocity? I'm doing something now, which I would call a strict piston stroke between everything. So I'm going like this. Shift, 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 shift. And there's a picture in between every single stroke where I'm here and I return to the top position. The next thing we're gonna talk about is taking that stroke and making it a legato stroke, which means to fill in the time that you have available. Instead of doing shift, shift, shift as fast as possible, you fill it in and make it smooth, like this. This is where I might start to introduce a little bit of arm flow into my playing, where I lift naturally with the arms. But the key is that I know the difference between doing this, where the mallet head rises, maximizes the wrist, and my arm follows after that, that's one approach. Here's the other approach. That's the approach where I strike and my hands lead, then the wrist. That's where, so there's, the first version is mallet head, wrist, arm. The second one that I just showed you is strike, wrist, arm, you know, it's, it's like arm and then the wrist comes up. That's what I meant to say. So they're both legato strokes, but you need to know which one you're doing. And you're gonna use both. Sometimes you're gonna play with this big flow and other times you're gonna play with a little more strict up, strict up down motion. It's just up to you to define the technique. So when you practice your legato strokes, start doing them like this. Start out like mallet head, leading where you just smooth it out and make it look natural then try the floaters try going like this <laughs> <laughs>